Oh yes, indeed. It is time for another Mark's Comic Haul. Yo. Uh, guys, I've been absent for a while and I apologize. I had Dallas Comic Show last weekend and it kept me very, very busy. And I just, I'm just now at a point where I'm getting caught up. And I'm getting ready to go out of town this weekend for GeekCon in Shreveport. Uh, and then following that, I'm going to Eastern Rim Comic Con. And then I will finally get a break. Uh, I actually had made a video basically recapping the previous three weeks of comic, like new comic hauls. I cut together this video. It was great. I was very happy with it. I covered three full weeks of new comics and my phone, I was using a program called Videorama and I guess Videorama will not, it can't process a big file like beyond a certain amount of minutes. And I lost the whole video and uh, I was devastated because <laughs> I was like, this is going to catch me up for three weeks and it didn't. So. I apologize, somewhere in the ether is a video for the last three weeks that would have caught you up with everything that I've got. It's just way too much to cover, so I'm just going back to basics here. So anyway, this is my new This Week haul for books that were released on, uh, what was it, the uh, 17th. And um, if you guys are new to this channel and you like this content, please do me a favor, like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Normally I do these haul videos once or twice a week, uh, but I also run the Dallas Comic Show, dallascomicshow.com for more information, but we just had an event and that's been kind of eating up all my time. So anyway, let's get right into it. Um, first and foremost, I wanted to show you guys these. Uh, these actually, I think Mike at Comic Crypt the Castle Hill showed off some of these, but this is a new thing that Marvel has put out. Um, and so they've done Spider-Man. This is the Amazing Spider-Man. It's a hardcover book which features the first um oh i forget i forget how many issues it is i want to say like the first 10 issues but i could be wrong um but it's a really nice hardcover book and i got this from uh jim at madness comics in denton and they actually have prints that go with these if you buy the hardcovers they send the retailers prints that go with them i have to go pick up the prints i haven't done that yet so that's the Amazing Spider-Man. Also got Black Panther. And uh, really like this, how they list all the creators down here. Gold, foil, cover. Uh, really nice hardcover book. These are 50 each. Um, Jim gave me a nice little discount, which I very much appreciate because it makes it a little easier on the pocketbook. And finally, last but not least, my favorite, uh, Captain America featuring uh, the Jack Kirby, Stan Lee era Captain America. Really nice hardcover. So very happy to have those. I believe there's more on the way. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Got my copy of Den of Geek magazine featuring Black Adam. I may have already got one of these. I can't remember, but since I haven't showed you guys a haul in three weeks, I don't know. Uh, grabbed another copy of Batman 125, the first printing. The second printing came out this week, and uh, I guess this book's kind of hot, so I went ahead and grabbed. They had one copy left on the shelf of the first printing. Black Adam number three, I just thought this was a killer cover. Really, really like that cover a lot. This is one of the books I went a little bit nuts on this week. This is Catwoman number 46. Uh, the Sosa Mica, uh, this is her first cover that is not a 1 in 25 Catwoman cover, and uh, I ordered a little heavy on those because um, I figured it would be hot, and it was hot because a lot of the retailers I saw were selling out of it. This is also a, uh, uh, DC is doing a series of these swimsuit covers, and so this is the Catwoman swimsuit, swimsuit cover. And I cannot for the life of me remember who did this. Um, I'd have to look it up. I apologize. I just thought it was a really nice, very well done cover. So I got one of those and I got five of those. <laughs> Went a little bit crazy on that. 
Uh, this was another cover I really dug this week. I actually bought three of these. I had pre-ordered a couple of them, and then when I saw it in person, I thought it looked even nicer. This is uh, DC vs. Vampires All Out War number 2. This is the swimsuit cover variant featuring Vampire Wonder Woman. And I love how you can see she's got the blood on her tooth there and her leg in the sun is melting or sizzling. I thought that was really cool. So really dug that cover a lot. Got three of those. The Harley Quinn classic homage variants continue. This is Harley Quinn number, uh, oh God. I can't see the number on this. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can pull up my order form and then I can tell you. Okay, so this is obviously meant to be an homage to the introduction of uh, Batgirl. And uh, instead of Batgirl, it's Harley Quinn in the center. And what does that say on the top there? Can we read that? Oh God, I can't read it. I'm sorry, guys. You might be able to read it when I hold it up to the camera. I want to say it says, I don't know. I hate not being able to read the numbers on these books, but um, anyway, well, I'll, I'll look it up and I'll tell you here in just a second <laughs> after it's no longer relevant. This is the Sandman Master of Dreams number one. Uh, this is the facsimile edition. Happy to get this. I don't know that I've ever owned a copy of Sandman number one. I don't think I have, um, but I was very happy to get my hands on that. There's also the, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen it. And just in case you haven't, let me see if I have one here. Oh, gosh, do I have it? Mm. Of course not. Sorry. Uh, there is a Sandman special edition uh, that they put out to coincide with the release of the um, series. And uh, it's a reprint uh, with the photo cover of the guy that's playing Sandman. And it's kind of neat. And those are actually, I think, going for a little bit of money because that series is really hot. Um, so look for your local comic shop to carry that. And if you can get your hands on one, do it. I apologize. It was Harley Quinn number 20. I was It was in the 20s, so I was close. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I can't read those numbers. All right. Uh, now we're getting into Marvel. This is Avengers 1 million B.C., I actually thought this was a really cool story, and this feeds directly off of, okay, see if I can jog your memory. Do you guys remember like a year or so ago, I was telling you about how Avengers uh, was introducing the very first Phoenix, and how it you know took place one million years ago, and how I thought that was gonna be important? Well, that plays directly into this story, and I kept telling everybody to pick up that first appearance of the, uh, what do you call it, prehistoric phoenix or whatever. So that plays directly into Avengers 1 million BC. And this actually is a really good book. I was really happy with what they did with it. So, and I just got, I think that's just cover A by Ed McGinnis. There is a 1 in 25 variant. They had sold out of it by the time I got to the store. Uh, Daredevil number 2. Uh, I just grabbed the Bill Sienkiewicz Predator versus Electra cover, because I thought it was a really nice Simkevich piece. This is a big, thick book, too. I think it's a $5.99 cover price. Anyway, that's the only one of those I grabbed. Um, I grabbed another copy of Edge of Spider-Verse number one, because they had it on the shelf, and I, um, I don't think I grabbed but maybe like one copy when that originally came out. This week, Edge of Spider-Verse number two came out, introducing Spider-UK. Uh, new character there, and that's cover A. I don't know why I went nuts on cover A. This cover I actually pre-ordered, and they all got damaged, so they're hoping to get more next week. 
And this is cover B featuring, featuring Spider UK in all her glory. Okay. Hulk number eight. This is the Russell Dowderman. Uh, I don't know if this is cover C. I think it's called cover C. Uh, I guess, is, is this a Hellfire Gala cover? Yeah, I think it's a Hellfire Gala cover featuring She-Hulk, which is now on Disney Plus and has been getting really good reviews. Hope you guys are checking that out. She-Hulk is my favorite Marvel female superhero and not just because her last name is Walters as well. Uh, I love Jennifer Walters. I love She-Hulk. I think she's an awesome character. So yeah, I grabbed three of those. Ms. Marvel and Moon Knight, number one. This is uh, another one of those. They're doing a series of books with Ms. Marvel crossing over with other characters. This leads directly into Ms. Marvel and Venom, and it introduces a new character in the end. So who knows? That new character is probably going to play into the Venom issue. Um, might become something in the long run. Okay, this is a book you guys definitely want to pick up. Savage Avengers number four. Uh, I went a little bit nuts on this book, and I'm going to tell you why. As you guys have probably heard, Marvel has lost the rights to Conan. Conan is now going to be published by Titan Publishing, and they're getting ready to launch a new series of Conan novels. And the future kind of remains to be seen as to what they're going to do with Conan. Well, without any warning, and retailers did not order big on this because they didn't know, this book, Secret Avengers number four, or I'm sorry, Savage Avengers number four, this book has the death of Conan. So, like Mike at Comic Crypt Castle Hills, I know you're a big Conan fan. This is a key book. You're going to want to pick it up. Uh, I don't know if it's going to go up in value or not, considering it's the death of a character, but nobody knew. <laughs> like, it was kind of flew under the radar there. Nobody really knew it was happening. Um, so, yeah, Savage Avengers number four. Pick it up. Uh, Star Wars number 26. This is the uh, Choose Your Destiny variant featuring Jedi Master Plo Koon. There you go. Star Wars The Mandalorian uh, number two. This is the, um, uh, what do you call it, the concept art variant cover. It's just an open order variant. But this is the cover that everybody's probably going to want. And uh, it's the first appearance of the child, a.k.a. Grogu, on a comic book cover. And um, this book pretty much follows the series. So this is basically like episode two of the series. And uh, just to be safe, I grabbed a few extras of those. I don't know if that's going to end up being anything or not, but, you know, you know how things go with that sort of stuff. This is uh, X-Men number uh, 13, and this is the 1 in 10 design variant featuring Firestar. No wonder I'm not... There we go. I thought this was a little dark. Of course, I turn on my... <laughs> with turn on my what do they call that dome light or whatever at the end uh anyway this is a one in ten copy variant featuring firestar i got two of those one store i went to had this on the shelf at cover price the other store had it marked up to eight dollars but i got a discount so it kind of evened out uh going into the independent stuff this is barbaric uh axe to grind number one this is like a cover b and i really really like this cover b um i just thought it was really sexy nice and gory um yeah dug that a lot got two of those this is a new AWA Upshot book called New Think 3.0, and I got this for the Marilyn Monroe homage. 
thought that was a nice cover. I would have grabbed two of those, but the interior did not really wow me. So I kind of went modest on that. And then uh, last but not least on the new this week stuff, uh, I did manage to get my hands on this uh, Frank Miller Presents Ashcan. And this is kind of, this is kind of silly. I almost said a bad word. I almost said a bad word. Um, this is kind of silly because they had these priced, it actually says on the cover at a dollar. Um, the store I went to marked them up to 20, which I was not happy about, but, uh, apparently they are going for like 25, 30 bucks on eBay and it previews the upcoming line of Frank Miller Presents comics. So I went ahead and plunked down a 20 spot to get my hands on one of these just in case this stuff ends up being hot. And I also picked up a couple of back issues, which I'm going to show you guys. Uh, one that I'm really, really happy about. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 550. Uh, this is the first appearance of uh, Menace and an early jackpot appearance, supposedly getting her own movie. Grab two of those. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man Annual number 10. I've showed you guys this book before. This actually has a Todd McFarlane Prowler story in it, and it's a really cool story. Cartoonist Kayfabe just did a um, review of this issue and showed the Prowler story that McFarlane did and talked about how it's very obviously a sort of precursor to what would become Spawn. So check this book out if you can find a copy. It's really cool. Frank Miller, Sin City, Just Another Saturday Night. Uh, I just grabbed this because I love Sin City, Nancy. And I didn't have this book. I don't know if I've ever had this book. It's just kind of like that self-contained story. But this is the book I was super happy to get my hands on. And I'm curious if you guys know what this is. This is the Dark Horse Presents fifth anniversary special. This is a really, really hard book to find. <laughs> I've had this book before, um, and I think I bought it at the time. I think I bought it for like a dollar or $2 or something back in like the late nineties, early two thousands. It's a big, thick book. As you can see, do you guys know what this is? I'll give you a hint. Frank Miller did the cover, even though uh, it's kind of like an all-encompassing cover. This, I believe, is the first appearance of Sin City. Um, now, there is some debate about that, because I think there is another book that it may or may not have had like a preview page or something in. But this book, I remember at the time when I got it before, which was, like I said, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, it was considered the first appearance of Sin City, and at one point in time, it was selling for anywhere from $75 to $100. I don't know what they're going for now. I haven't had a chance to check, but I haven't had this book in probably almost 20 years. I was very happy to get my hands on another copy. The last copy of this book I got was pretty worn. This copy is not. This is in really, really good shape. So I'm very, very happy to get my hands on that book again after all these years. Okay, guys, that's it. That's all I got. Um, I guess uh, I'll talk to you hopefully next week. I am going to GeekedCon in Shreveport, Louisiana. And uh, I am saying it correctly. It is Geek apostrophe D Con in Shreveport. If you guys can make your way to Shreveport, Louisiana, check out GeekedCon.com. G-E-E-K-D-C-O-N.com. For more information on that i also want to plug eastern rim comic con uh, or it's like eastern rim funny book con or something like that i can't remember what the official title is i will be at that show the following weekend and i'm actually going to be set up there that's in baytown which is just outside of houston so if you guys can make your way down there i'll be there not this weekend but next weekend um anyway hopefully i'll pick up some fun stuff there so thanks so much guys for tuning in i hope you guys are all uh finding what you're looking for and uh man i got something in my eye i don't know what's causing irritating my eye 
Um, but I hope you guys are finding everything you're looking for, and I hope you're uh, enjoying life, staying safe, staying away from COVID, which is still apparently an issue out there. We actually had somebody caught COVID like right after my show last weekend. I don't know if they caught it at the show or if they caught it at their job, but one of the people that works with me caught it. I've tested myself. I'm good. Um, so I guess I'm doing something right. Anyway, stay safe, guys. Uh, did want to throw out a couple of shout outs. Uh, free energy. Where were you, man? I didn't see you at the show. Were you there? Did I miss you? Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I hope you're okay. Um, uh, Sean Hogan, of course, who always watches and uh, comments. I appreciate that. Mike at Comic Crypt of Castle Hills. Always appreciate you doing those cool videos that you do. Spidey fan. Uh, I ran into Spidey fan. Uh, I've seen him at a couple of shows now. I think I saw him at Dusty Attic Toy Show. And then I saw him at a new show called Collect Fest DFW that just happened like a couple of weeks ago. Um, but I don't... Did I see him at my show? I don't remember if I saw him at my show. Why are you guys bailing on my show? Stop it. DallasComicShow.com. That's where you need to be. Uh, next show's November 11th and 12th. Um, anyway, <laughs> who else am I missing out there? Um, I know I'm probably missing a few people. Anyway, guys, I'm so tired. I still have not recovered from my show. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just really, really beat. I want to thank my new subscribers. I've had a few new subscribers that have checked out the channel. And again, if you guys do like this content, please do me a favor, like and subscribe down below. I would very much appreciate it. Go check out these really cool hardcovers that Marvel's putting out. I'm really happy with uh, how these look. I got a chance to see them open and uh, they look awesome. So, all right, I'm gonna go figure out what got in my eye here. So I will see you guys on the next Mark's Comic Hall, y'all. I apologize for being absent. I'll try to do better.